you want to play with the ball? Diane Pineda had her first hernia surgery 20 years ago, but a new twist developed recently when her intestines pushed through the hole in the muscle wall. I tried to get up out of bed. I could not move. An iguanal hernia had forced part of her intestines through a previously implanted mesh netting that was supporting her abdominal wall. That's what was pinching and causing me to go into a fever. She opted for robotic hernia repair. The surgeon is seated at a computer console and remotely controls the robotic arms. It's the best of what technology offers, 3D, high definition, and control. The arms or the instruments that we're able to use robotically are articulated, meaning they're like our hands are in there. The robot allows the surgeon to have all control of all the instruments that are performing the surgery. Using robotics and a tiny incision, there's a much lower risk of infection. But for the majority of the hernias, um, fairly small ones, your inguinal hernias, my uh, personal protocol is to send a patient back to doing family walks on day four. On day seven, I want them back on an elliptical or treadmill. At two weeks, we actually fully uh, lift their restrictions. There's no further lifting restrictions at all. That means patients like Diane can get back to life more quickly. I'm Marty Salt reporting.